Great years, well in town, club captain Chris Round um, after a good 3 2 win against um, Sheppey. Sheppey won in a decent team at this level for a number of years. Chris, what did you think of the game? Do you think we deserve to win it at the end? Absolutely, yeah. Um, first half, we were certainly the better team. Um, to get a 2 0 uh, scoreline against a team of their their size and the, the reputation they come with in this league is obviously pleasing, um, even at home. Uh, but the way we were playing, we were dominating the game, playing all the football. They looked like they only had one route to go, which was to go long or to try and spread in behind the fullbacks. Um, first 15 minutes of the second half, I thought we were by far the better side. Looked like we could run away with 3-4. They get a, you know, an, an unfortunate penalty, and then you know, 2-0 two, two is the the worst scoreline to have. And suddenly the, uh, the momentum shifts, and they suddenly look like the better side for 10, 15 minutes, and then it was anyone's game. So, and yeah. then, you know. With 30 seconds of each other, Jack's made an unbelievable save, their goalkeeper was made an unbelievable save. Both teams trying to win it at the end there, and then Johan gets his toe on one and it's in the back of the net. Yeah, and we had one just before that where I think Johan headed it straight at the goalkeeper as well. Um, Jack makes that unbelievable save, you know, that's why we have a keeper like Jack, because he, he earns his points. You know, another, another goalkeeper, another day, that's them 3 2 up and probably winning the game. He makes a save like that, we go down the other end, bit of quality from Els. Quality pull back and uh, yeah, Johan just keeps popping up at the moment. Three and four, is it, or something like that? So it's great when you've got midfielders, defensive midfielders, scoring goals like that. So yeah, we can't really complain. So we're fourth in the league, Chris. We've got games in hand, but is it just a matter of forget the table, forget the other teams, just keep playing every game as it comes? Yeah, it's a, it's you know, you can't forget the table because you look at it and no one expected us to be fourth in the table after 15, 16 games. So you have to look at it and think, well, actually, we deserve to be where we are because we've, we've won these points. Uh, no one can take that away from us. But, you know, we take it a game by game basis or four game basis and see where we get to by Christmas, see where we get to by the end of Feb. We're still in the VARs. We're still in other cup competitions, you know, and we just we'll take it one step at a time. But you can't ignore the table. You know, it's great to be in the top four. It's great to be there. and. Um, We'll, we'll keep plugging away and, and hope we can make, make something happen by the end of the season. Speaking of the Vars, we've got that coming up. Uh, we've got a team from Step 6 at home. On the face of it, a good draw, but FA Cup, FA Cup, well, strange things happen and upsets happen. What, what have we got to do to make sure that we're not an upset? we just got to go through our processes. You know, If we play the way we can play, um, go, go, through the, go through the steps that we go through every week. There's, there's, I, I don't expect anything other than a, a good home win, but you know, cup football is cup football. They're going to come here, they're going to have a good go. They've obviously earned their place in the, in the round that they're in, regardless of what step they come from, it doesn't really matter. You know? uh, any step six can come up and be at a step five or a step four side uh, on their day. Um, I don't expect anything other than them to come up and give absolutely 150% and I don't expect anything less than us to go out there and give exactly the same back and it'd be a pretty good game but I fully expect a well in win. So. Yeah, Danny said our intensity levels were a little bit below what we expected. Today I thought for the first hour they were fantastic and it's important against Bedfront and Felton that our intensity and our desire and our work rate is bang there from the whistle. Yeah, that's, you know, I've played for Dan for three or four years now and the bedrock of everything that We've had, we've, we've, we've done is, is hard work. You can have all the best players in the world, you know, the Adams, the Lewis's, the Rob Browns, but if you haven't got 11 players pulling together, giving 150%, then it doesn't really matter. And that's, you know, the foundation of everything that uh, Dan has pulled together over the last three or four years is squads of 18, 20 players that will give. 200% for each other week in, week out, and allow the, the creative players to flourish at the top end of the park. But yeah, it's built on hard work, effort, attitude, application. Uh, at the start of the season, your team captain, club captain, Ash came in and he's played well and he's kept you out. Is that frustrating for you, Chris? And are you chomping to get back in there? Of course it is, yeah. I want to I play, but you know. I can't say anything about Ash. He's done absolutely brilliant when he's come in. He's, you know, he's uh, he's fully deserving of his spot in the side at the moment. Um, I'm unfortunately waiting for either a bad performance, an injury, a suspension, or a change of shape or something to 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 get in and uh, hopefully take an opportunity to stake a place for a shirt. But uh, fair play to Ash. He's, he's playing brilliantly. So uh, you know, and long may it continue. Are you happy to wait for your for your left back spot, or if there's a little slot in midfield, would you want to step in there? I'll play anywhere <laughs> to get back on the park. But um, no, I'm you know I'm just waiting for the right opportunity, whether it's a tactical thing or a, or a result of an injury or or anything. I just ready and waiting, trying to stay fit, and uh, yeah, we'll 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 see what happens. Well, Chris, thanks for talking today, and we'll, we'll see you next week, and we'll have a chat with you. Thank you very much. Good night, thank you.